Okay, so in this question, the graph shows the variation with time t of the force F acting on the object of the mass 15,000 kgs. The object is at rest at t is equal to zero. Initially, the object is at rest. Okay, fine. So the graph is given between force and time. Uh, what is the speed of the object when t is equal to 30 seconds? Okay, so uh, the graph is given and generally the graph of force and the displacement is given and we say that the area under the curve will be work done. So if it was the force and the displacement, we would have found the uh, total work done by the force by finding the area under the curve. And we would have equated it with the change in kinetic energy. From there, we would have found the velocity. Now, the problem here is on x-axis, we don't have the displacement. We have time instead of that. But whenever we have a graph, always take it as a clue. Try to find the area and the units of the area. Try to find what is the physical quantity that is being represented by the area under the curve. So in this case, it will be force multiplied by time. Where have we studied that? We have studied that in the topic named impulse. Now, what is impulse? We said that we know that F is equal to change in momentum delta P by delta T. But when time is very, very small, we can write it as dP by dt, which is a differential terminology. You might not be knowing it if your teacher has not dealt with it. So we can work around with delta also, don't worry. In 12th standard, uh, we go for differentiation and integration in mathematics for IB courses. So I don't know whether you are uh, aware of this or not. So we can work with delta. So this is delta B. So as per the unit and dimensions are concerned, so now we know that force multiplied by time is equal to change in momentum. So this is known as impulse momentum theorem. impulse momentum theorem because this physical quantity that is force multiplied by time is impulse. Impulse is also a vector. Momentum is also a vector. Point to be noted, impulse is not a force, but it is effect of force. Now, this is how it is defined. And what is the effect of force? Change in momentum. Fine. So this is the background theory. Now we are going to find the area of this. So what is this area? This area will be the impulse. So impulse can be, we can, we will find the area and uh, see, don't go for this F into Delta T that, that because this formula will be used when force is constant. If force is not constant, we have to find the area under the curve. Please be careful about this. So area under the curve is half into base into height. So what is the base? 30 seconds height is 6 kilo newton so k i have written so this is the area with this will be equated with the change in momentum initially the body is rest uh, is at rest so finally it has a momentum that is m into v so final momentum is 15000 into v so v is what we want to find let us see uh, Three, we can say three ten three fives are fifteen, and so velocity is six meter per second. So this is our answer, and so our answer is B. Okay, let us verify the answer once. Yes, the answer is B according to the mark scheme. So with this, all the best.